Scott, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Have you always been a sales hacker? What is a sales hacker? <laughs> what is a sales hacker? That's a good question. Uh, I, I would say yes. I think I always have been a sales hacker. I, uh, I started selling when I was 18, door to door um, in Australia, actually. Golf and spa packages was my first kind of trial at sales. So you took a really hard product to sell. It was so difficult. So everything since then has kind of just been a breeze, I think. But I don't know, I, I do find this theme in my career where um, I didn't often do what I was told. Um, you know, I, I didn't always follow the process. So sometimes it's my VP's nightmare. Um, but I would find little tips and tricks and ways of doing things that's Maybe not better, faster, just my way. And uh, it ended up working out for me. I, uh, I parlayed that um, experience into, I got into selling uh, in the travel industry as like an account executive, moved up to management there uh, very quick. And by the age of like 22, I was uh, a GM of the, the Canadian office. And then from there, transitioned into tech. So made the jump over um, me, my 22-year-old self, thought, oh, I'm going to go be a director of sales in the tech industry because I was, you know, running a team of 14 sales and marketing people in the travel industry. But uh, it didn't work like that. They basically were said, well, you can get a job as a BDR because you have no tech experience. And uh, so I took that uh, and it was the best career move I think I've ever done. So I started as a BDR about five years ago now in tech and uh, quickly got a team lead position moved up to management, built out a key accounts program while managing the team. And then from there, um, had this opportunity uh, come up with Sales Hacker. And uh, I threw my hat in the ring with about 400 other people and somehow tumbled out uh, the other side and now been running revenue there ever since.